options. The, uh, the first step on the checklist is to simulate in the CAM software. Now, instead of having you open up the CAM software one at a time, we've made a little video of the simulation here. So you're going to watch the video of the simulation before you run the part. And this lets you know what the computer thinks the program is going to do. The first tool comes down. It does a facing operation, a chamfer, and then an engraving. So that's pretty simple. We'll go back to our instructions. We're going to insert the workpiece. So this is pretty simple. We're going to put it in the call it chunk, which is already beyond the table of the machine tool. And then you're going to operate the red switch here, which will close the, the call it. Now we're going to edit the code. And so this is sort of a non-standard step. And this is a, one of the reasons that we have to check the non-standard steps there. But what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to change this bit of code right here where it says AHS, you're going to change the AHS to be your initials. Once you're done with that, you're going to press the reset button to make sure the program is starting at the beginning. Then the next step on the checklist is to set the tool in the work offsets. Now we're not going to set the tool in the work offsets before we run the program because we've built right into the code where it automatically goes and measures all the tools and then locates the workpiece for you before it starts. We're going to simulate on the controller. So to simulate on the controller, you're going to go to the memory, press the memory button. You're going to press the setting graphics button twice. And then you're going to press cycle start and the program will, be, will simulate. It'll show a picture that looks similar to this. We're going to prepare to run the program. We're going to go to the memory mode again. We're going to press the current commands, and this will bring up a display that looks like this. We're going to press either the up arrow or the down arrow until the distance to go coordinate system is displayed here. And then we're going to reduce the rapid rate. So once we reduce the rapid rate to 25%, that gives us a chance to stop the program if something seems to be going wrong. We're now ready to run the program. And what we're going to do now is watch a video of the program running. So I said the, uh, the first thing that happens is the, uh, the tools and the workpiece get probed for you. So it operates the tool changer. It loads this eighth inch ball mill in the spindle and it comes down and it touches the top of the probe. Once it's done this, it will operate the tool changer again select tool number six, which is a 3 8 inch diameter, 90 degree drill point end mill. This is the tool that comes in and does the chamfer. So again, it touches the top of the probe, goes up and down a couple times to make sure that it's measured the length of the tool. And it's gonna go up, it's gonna change to tool eight now. Tool eight is a 3 8 inch diameter end mill. The end mill again, like the others, comes down and touches the top of the probe. When it's done, this is going to operate the tool changer and change to tool 10, which is our spindle probe or our part probe. Now the first thing it does after it has the part probe here is it spins it around and turns it on. And now it's jogging in what's called a safe mode. When it's in this safe mode, if it touches something, it stops moving. When you're handle jogging the probe in later exercises, it won't be in the safe mode when it's operating. So if now it has uh, touched the top of the part and located the Z location for the top of the part. It now touches the four sides of the part and calculates what the center of those four points is and finds the XY location at the center of the part. So the, the work offset for this part is the top center of the workpiece. When it's done with the programming, it goes immediately into the uh, machining part of the program. The first tool comes in is the 3 8 inch end mill. It comes down. And as it's coming down, we hit the feed hold button and it stops it here. Then we look at the distance to go, which is about 1 inch. And the point that is going to Z equals 0 0.09 inches. And that's measured again from the top of the workpiece. So we look back in the machine and decide, does this make sense? It's going to go one inch. Is it about one inch away from the part? If it is, then we're going to tell it, go ahead. And we're going to press the green cycle start button and it will continue.
it does facing operation. As it does this facing operation, it slowly spirals into the center of the part. It's going to operate the tool changer again for the chamfer mill. The chamfer mill comes down. We pause. We check the distance to go to make sure it makes sense. And then we can press cycle start to continue the machining operation. So I'm going to go back to step through our instructions here. So we'll watch the whole video. And then we are ready to press cycle start. Remember to check the distance to go for each tool that's approaching the workpiece and decide if it makes sense. When the program is finished, you'll activate the, uh, the red switch on the side, press the button, and that will release the collet. You can then remove your workpiece from the, uh, from the fixture. You want to inspect your workpiece, so look at the workpiece, decide if it makes sense, if it engraved your initials, and then check out with the lab instructor or the PLA who is uh, operating the watch do teach list to tell them that you are finished.